Hello. Well, I'll give this one a go. Um, it's a pendant. No, maybe it was not a pendant. Maybe it was a ring. But um, I just wanted to see if I could do it with tea spines and see what it looked like. If it looked any different in my pipe, so that's all set up to do. Um, so picture frame. Um, look. Sound effects today. So um, that's a that's a dependent picture. Uh, so let's um, sort this out so we can use it. Um, transform, move, um, object that one. It's getting a bit in the middle, about there, and uh, move to the centre of the world. Um, there we go, centre of the world, it's Manchester. <laughs> um, objects to rotate. Oh, F4, and we'll just try and get that so it's sort of. Point your P in your maybe a little bit like that. There we go. Let's select that one more time. Um, before we do that, if we go into properties, serial, um, T high here, you can play with the transparency of it. So, something like that, I think. Uh, and then we'll go. So the green layer which is lot change object layer. So there we go. So that's what we're gonna try and do. Um so we'll start off with a star from F4. Um shift on. I mean it don't matter about the size because we can scale stuff in a bit. Oops, it's a polygon. I'll show you what we did wrong. <laughs> Um, a star, center of the star, a bit bigger, make it easier. Yeah, it is. Um, get something like and pick a circle. Can say everyone's probably got a different way of doing this. I don't know is right or wrong, I don't think there's a right and wrong as long as it works out. Uh, and then as well a polyline from there to there and a polyline from the end the end. Um, just get that for a minute. And then if we cut oh, oh that one, that one. Um, we want to keep this big circle. Uh, not that one. Transform scale 2D from the world origin. What was it? 45 degree. Bring that down so it's sort of like that. Uh, repeat the command with that. F4 again, 45 degree. Uh, something like that. Um, change them onto that so it's easy to see. Now, the basic curve we can make the shape up from them, um, but what we do need to do now is get the over and under sorted. She's been doing the heading. 
Um, so, searching to those points on. There we go. Now that's only got two points, and that's got those we put in. But we need to add more to get the under and overs right. Now, if you put an actual point in, it'll break the line and mess it about. So if you insert a knot. Um, first of all, we want to put them on that. So go one there. Um, points now. Something I want to do on that. Okay. Go one there. Goes over. It goes under there. Goes under there. It goes over there. Got one there. Really, haven't we? But So we've got now. Get rid of that one. The snap is on, so we can move that and it'll stay on it. Now again, I don't know if this is the best way to do it, but it seems to work, so I'll be all wrong. <laughs> now you have to be careful with these ones because <coughs> you can change the shape of that if you mess them around too much. Uh -huh. to think of it here <laughs> uh, and then uh, rerun the command select the curve so we want this one now so we want that's an over that's an under that's an over that's an under over under right to stop then so Bit seamless editing. <laughs> um, so let's surface for not that one. Right, let's go into this one. Can have a look. So that's an under. No, it's not. That's an over. That's an under. That's an over. It's an under. That's an over. to pick the overs. So we'll start with that one. Finger on um, shift. So that's an under, that's an over, that's an under, that's an over, that's an under. Mm. Now if we do that one, that's an over. And then that's an over, that's an under, that's an over, that's an under, that's an over. Yep, okay. We're going here now. Transform, move, points to move from there. Excuse me, um, now we should go point four. Put your finger on snap. And that constrains it to 0.4. Uh, okay. So now what we need to do is select the unders and leave them as we were, I think, halfway, half out. Oh no, let's do under. Uh, over, under, 
To this, so if we earn um, points on <coughs> now, if we drag this out, see how it updates, um, which is which is good. Now, these are it's children, this is the master, if you like. So, that's why I put my different color just so it's easy to find. So, um, if we uh, like that lot now. Uh, record history again and then T S pi and T T plant T can't say it. <laughs> Put your teeth in. T splines pipe. Um, so there you've got the model now you've got to make sure that your output type smooth because if you don't it'll break the history um, when you change it into a smooth mode for some reason. Um, but if you output it as smooth then you can go into it so um, we can accept that there <coughs> um, now if we uh, analyze surface environment map put it into a <coughs> text messages um, let's have a look Um, you get a general idea. I mean, T 
to be honest, I'm looking at the card history again. Um, so yeah, it's packed. say because of the history you can mess about with it to your heart's content and it'll just keep updating which is cool I think Nothing now. Uh, well. I don't think I wrecked it. <laughs> Yeah, you could get it bang on, but that's, that's it. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Have a good one. Thanks a lot. Bye now.